This is Justin Hankey from Harman Professional, part of the EMA Applications team, and welcome to the Soundcraft How To video. I'd like to take you through a new feature of the SI Compact Expression and Performance Series with the latest version 1.6, and that feature is SoundWeb External Preamp Control. The application that this feature will be useful in is something such as a multi-purpose venue. You may have a SoundWeb London network with multiple devices and multiple rooms, and in some of those rooms you may also have a console. For some days, the system might want to be operated automatically using SoundWeb London devices. But some occasions you may want an operator to have control of the audio signals that are being routed into SoundWeb London. And for that reason, one key feature is to have control of the mic pre's. The audio will be routed via an audio distribution protocol from SoundWeb London into the console, such as using BlueLink, Cobranet, or Dante. All those protocols are currently available by both products. So let's have a look and see how we can identify and configure that control. So the system we have set up here includes a Sound of London Blue 806 that features Dante and Blue Link. To my left, we then have an SI Performer that's fitted with a Dante card. We have two networks. The first network is transmitting the Dante audio, allowing Soundweb to transmit the SI to receive, and then if required, to send back again. The second network is the control, high QNet control, allowing for this application, the SI Performer, to have control of the mic pre's within the 806 device. So the first stage is we require to patch the audio. The 806 is transmitting eight channels of audio via Dante, and I want to receive that via the SI Performer. First, I would select channel one. I go to the touch screen, select inputs, go to patching, select the encoder, and that takes me to the input patch. If I toggle through to the right, I can then see the Dante incoming signals. Select channel one, hit autocomplete, confirm by pressing yes, and now inputs one to eight are receiving the Dante. And we can actually see that from the incoming signals on channels one and two. The second stage is now to assign the channel on the console to a mic pre on a Sound of London device. And to do this, we need some information available from London Architect or from Audio Architect. So, on the touch screen, we already have the input patch and we are on channel one. Press and hold channel one on the touch screen and that takes us to the SoundWeb external preamp control. Now, first of all, external con control status. If we enable this, this will allow us control of the mic pre. Next, we enter the node address of the Sound of London device. To locate this, we can use London Architect, which displays the node address in hex format, as seen on the following screenshot. You can use HiQNet Audio Architect that displays the node address in decimal format, as seen on the following screenshot. And finally, we can use NetSetter, again, which shows the node address in decimal format. Now, the node address has to be entered into decimal format into the console. So, I press the encoder. The node address of this device is 35. So I delete the existing node address, I enter 35, and I press OK. Second is the card. Sound of London has multiple cards. Those are available from A, B, C, and D. In this case, it's the A card. Finally, it's the input channel. And in this example, it's channel one, so I can leave it. Press OK on the touch screen. Now I'll do the same for the second channel. So channel number two. Press and hold channel two on the input patch. Takes me to the same screen. First of all, I enable. Come down to the node address. Again, enter node address 35. Press apply. Card A, that's the default. But on this example, I need to change to input channel number two and press OK. Now, with that configuration, the gain controls for channel one and two 
is providing me six dB steps from zero to 48, and that will control through the high unit network directly to the 806. So I can see I've got signal coming in. I can adjust the gain accordingly using the meters per channel for channel one and for channel two. Now, because we only have steps of 6 dB, I can then go back to channel one, go back to SoundWeb external preamp control, and I can set the status to disabled for channel one, and I'll do the same for channel two. So I've now disabled both of these, which means the gain control no longer has control of the mic pre on SoundWeb, but what it does do, it now gives me trim, which allows me plus minus 16 dB of trim per channel, so I have a little bit more accurate control of my gain if required. And so now we've completed our setup. We have control of a SoundWeb London mic pre via an SI Compact, Expression or Performer console using either Blue Link, Dante or CobraNet to transmit audio between the two devices, depending upon your application. Thank you for joining the Soundcraft how-to video. I hope you found this information informative. If you have not already subscribed to the Soundcraft uh, YouTube video group, please do, equally for the Facebook site. Thank you, bye-bye.